We're starting today with a new Arches pad, but Arches is a go-to paper for me. Frequently I paint with what is called a cold press or a rough paper, and it has a lot of surface to it. This happens to be a hot press, and it's very flat. The reason you can remember the difference is hot press reminds you of an iron, a hot iron, so the surface is very flat. This is a new block, and as we've mentioned before, a block means that the pages have been glued on the edges. So as I open this block, it starts with a black sheet of paper. This black sheet of paper, it's glued, but there's a little opening here where it's not glued. So you stick a palette knife or a, sometimes I use an offset spreader like you'd use for frosting. You want something that's thin and flat something that's not going to mar the surface of the paper. So I might take this edge of this brush, sometimes this works pretty well, sometimes not as well. Stick it in here and just start to glide it across and it will release the paper. There we go. This one's coming off pretty easily. And then this final edge, I think I can just, yeah, I can just tear this final edge off. I'll put this down. And as you can see, it gives us a big pad of paper. There's probably, I don't know, 15 sheets. Let me check what it says. I think about 15 sheets, 20 sheets, 20 sheets on this pad. The nice thing about using a pad is that it'll keep it flat for you while you are painting. You can use an easel, and sometimes I use uh, just a hard board to paint on, but there's a convenience in using a pad. The pads are a little bit more expensive, but um, sometimes the convenience is working, worth it, particularly if you're painting on plein air or outside, because then in a breeze like this, I don't have to worry about the edges of the paper flapping toward me. It's one less thing to worry about.